So of the available techniques for detecting early disease, and of course the goal here is to institute early interventions to try to limit um, the eventual expression of disease. Um, most of the things we've already talked about are available in one format or another in principle. I think most centers would have difficulty setting up volume displacement unless it were part of a research study that were ongoing uh, and the equipment is typically not widely available. It's, as I said, it's cumbersome, although uh, once the tank is available, there's little additional cost. Um, just simply not easy to do, not easy to do repetitively, requires a tremendous amount of space and manpower to make it happen. Physical exam, of course, is always available, but it's a relatively late and relatively insensitive indicator of early disease. Parometry is available. I think expense, expense is an issue, and uh, strictly speaking, the FDA approval of this technique for uh, the detection of early disease is not present. Bioimpedance spectroscopy is increasingly available, is FDA approved, and has the uh, distinct advantage of being both quite sensitive to early disease, having great portability of either the device to the patient or the patient to the device, and quite amenable to repetitive interventions with the patient in order to serially evaluate risk during those early months and years that the patient is at highest risk. There have been studies of patients with breast cancer at risk for developing lymphedema.